Sun Energy uses a total of five Yesma Bell scales at Sturstrupberg. When the coal arrives at the barge, it is transported through the works by crane. Each time it grabs between 13 and 15 tons of coal, which are then brought onto the conveyor belt and added to the circuit. As previously mentioned, the place runs a total of 5 scales from Yesma. All of them play strategically in the circuit in order to provide the important data for their specific placement. The bell scales in the circuit are of the type VIB slash EES. When we are uh, measuring the coal more than once, it's because we can see a slight difference in the scale weights, but the total amount should always be the same. And we can only do that with, when we have several weights, scale weights uh, after another. In this building, all metal parts are outsorted from the process and the coal is rated for the first time after leaving the barge. The ones outside are covered by metal for protective and safety purposes. When the circuit is running, every scale is followed closely on this screen, allowing employees to track the exact ton per hour for each individual belt scale. They have uh, proven their value uh, over many years, and um, that's why we have chosen those types. Once free of metal, the coal is transported to the next house, where it is crushed in this machine and weighed once more. The coal is then either transported directly to the plant or stacked in piles. An excavator then moves the coal to the plant. On its way there, the coal is weighed once more on this belt scale, and this is followed closely by the operator, and then the coal is brought to the plant. The main advantage of the built-in scale compared to the way feeder is the fact that it can be built into an existing conveyor. This saves money and removes the necessity of making changes to the production outline. The flat V-shaped, through-shaped belt weigher type VIB EES is built around a set of high-precision rollers mounted in a rigid and sturdy hot galvanized steel frame. The material is entered onto the conveyor belt through the inlet. After the inlet, the weighing section must be placed as close to the inlet as possible. However, the material must stabilize on the belt and travel a minimum of two times the maximum belt speed before crossing the weigher section. The coal has now been weighed for the last time and is transported to the stove and burned.